What are preferences? Oh, look at all these settings. Unseen text. Unseen uh, text? Where do you see that? I don't know. It was the first thing I saw. Unseen text right there. Yeah, I, I see it here. Skip. <laughs> Nozomi? I, I'm assuming that's a character? Probably. Alright, I don't want to read either. <laughs> what? I don't want to oh, read the text I can either. read that. That's poor man's talk. Right, well, I don't want to read, so you can read that. Okay, well, I'll, I'll read. That's how we'll do it. Are you going to full screen or are you going to... Fine, be a weenie. I need to make sure it doesn't fuck with OBS then. Yeah, see? Remove it, even. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, whoa. Oh, is it gluing the corners? Oh, wait. Uh, what's going on? Read your narrating. Oh, right. Okay. From the dawn of time, there was an unbreakable bond between humans and characters. Oh. A symbiotic relationship that allowed both humans and characters to evolve. I'm confused already. Is there a button I'm supposed to hit? Or <gasps> oh! I, I do open, that? I open up the history. How do I close this? Wait, that's the wrong text. <gasps> oh, I'm a okay. gamer. I pressed the escape button. The humans define the characters, and in return, the characters taught them morals and knowledge. Because the characters taught the humans and evolved their minds, the stories and the characters the humans cr created evolved as well. Hmm. This relationship was especially strong between authors and their character. Do we get to create our own character? That's gonna be awesome. I hope not. When the <laughs> author starts writing the story, he doesn't even have the whole details or even the whole plot in his mind. Well, maybe the author should get smarter then. Idiot. Now, as. Wait. As the he writes the story. <laughs> He goes on a journey alongside his characters and grows with them. Really? It is during that journey when the author starts filling the gaps in his story. I've hit the auto button. I don't know what that does. So. I don't know. I'm going to save the game here real quick. Yep, there we go. Yep. That works just fine. This game looks so confusing. And thus, the author and the characters write the story and evolve together. How does the character this write is the like story? A... I don't understand what they mean by characters. This mutual cycle of evolution has lasted for over tens of thousands of years. I just really hope this game is really stupid. It will be. <laughs> until one author decided to break the cycle. That's not- that's- that's illegal! His pride and ego prevented him from receiving help from the characters. He wanted to create a story that was entirely his, without any influence from the characters. So he's just writing an autobiography. Yeah. But soon he will discover that his bond goes way deeper no, it's than this what he bond, has ever you imagined. Idiot. Read better. It, say this? Oh, it says this. You. At least I'm reading. <laughs> fucked up on two other words that you didn't catch. Okay. Some place far away, beyond our concept of time and space. Are you crazy? At least tell me before you cast your terrible time magic. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ride was a little rockier than usual. Stop crying, Nancy Noodle. <laughs> you really have to work on your time travel magic. <sighs> no, I'd... Let me voice the question for our character next. Okay. Well, but that's not the important part. Did we do it correctly? Yeah, yeah. There's no Chinese angle to it, you daisy hood. <laughs> and the suggestion has been successfully installed, right? Stop grilling <laughs> me, you sap. This is the fourth time you asked me that. <laughs> Can you please talk normally? I don't get half of what you're saying. I am a gangster. I have to talk like that. 
<laughs> you are not a gangster. You are a bunny. If you aren't even a real bunny, you are. Yeah, you stupid red hot. You can't say that in public. So what do we do now, gangster? Now we just do a clean sneak before the hammer and saws get us chilled off. And in normal words? We have to get out of here before the other one kills us. Does that mean the book has, has been released yet? If it was released, I am sure we would have felt the effect by now. Still, the more time we stay here, the bigger the odds that the other one will notice us. Okay, then, for we. You're goofy, the coppers can read your mind. I need to erase your memory. Oh, no. <laughs> like your terrible time magic? No, fa. You want to get- you want us to get clipped off? Get your ass over here. Ick. Fuck, this shitty bunny's about to ruin my plans without even knowing about them. I have to keep my memory safe by all means, I need some backup plan. What does that say? Jackaloo, I assume? Oh, Jackaloo, I'm gonna erase oh, wait, it Wait, no. one. Oh no, but that is a J, okay. I, it looks I so similar to that I. I thought it was an L, honestly. Yikes, I really don't want to do this. But, Idrit's Dream ask. Depend- oof, That is one heck of a name. I have to transfer control over to him, although nothing guarantees that he will try getting my memory back. That guy sounds like an asshole, then. Who does? Three. Shit, here goes nothing. Let's just hope for the best. Sweet dreams. <laughs> did you see his feet? I did, that's why I like. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. The king of all Terra. That's Alteria. Alt fuck you. A place of peace and prosperity. <laughs> and the last resort of humankind. Of okay, course, everyone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of, of course. course it is. Once humans had the freedom to go wherever they wanted. But now, beyond the borders of Alteria, a living hell awaits. Just send a doom guy, Elmail. The Demon King. Just send a doom guy, Elmail. <laughs> a ruthless and vulgar beast that ravaged the outside world, leaving only Alteria in one piece. Sounds like some idiot playing with his food. It really does. It is his. It is his fault that the people of Alteria are living in a golden cage. No one can get out, and no one can get in, if anyone even survived the slaughter of the Demon King. Yet the question still remains. Why does the Demon King refuse to crush Altaria? Why does it stand alone in a sea of blood and ashes? Plot armor, GG, easy. But there's one thing the people of Altaria know. The Demon King will attack. Oh, I thought they were saying his name was just Will. <laughs> That's my headcanon name for him. The <laughs> Demon King is known for having no mercy at all, as no soul managed to escape from his bloodbath. I just really wish you would start saying Will every time it just says the Demon King. <laughs> and when he will attack, the kingdom will be set on fire. Thus, everyone living in the shade of the evil demons, not knowing when their fate shall be sealed. But not all hope is lost. The kingdom of Altaria still holds a secret weapon up its sleeve. Pocket sand. The hero of fortune. Fuck. <laughs> After countless prayers and offering made by the people of Altaria, a certain goddess offered her help. I hope it's not Aqua. <laughs> she blessed a small child. Hmm... And Why designated him to be a great, I don't know, to be a great warrior with enough power to defend the kingdom against the demon king. Against Will. <laughs> against, I'm calling him Will from now on. <laughs> he gave the small child a sapphire ring in order to mark him as her champion. But now what if somebody else were to just make a sapphire ring? It's exactly what I was thinking. However, there is one condition. At the age of 18... The child must eat the golden fruit in order to reach his true potential. Why is golden capitalized but fruit isn't? I thought, you are reading my mind. <laughs> Only then, 
the hero of fortune will raise his sword against darkness and restore the freedom and the safety the people of Altaria once had. They still have freedom and safety right now because really Will isn't crushing them. But one question remains. It still remains. Fuck you. Who is that hero? It's me. So many dots. Who's talking here? Oh, it's Ichigo! <laughs> it really is. Holy <laughs> shit. Sir! <Bleh. laughs> what are you doing in my room, Godolph? <sighs> I told you not to wake me up. I was up till 3 a.m. trying to solve my homework. God, real life problems, am I right? Uh, I'm very sorry, sir. I like how it still says guard when we know his name is Godolph. I didn't mean to wake you up in such a bad manner. Forget it, Godolph. I'm sorry I yelled at you. But for what reason did you come into my room at such an early hour? I carry a message from your father. It seems like a very high priority mission, so I decided to not take the risk and give you the letter the moment I received it. He that even music said. In the background is so annoying. He, I, I can't even hear it. He even said with you the. You can't hear it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I so can barely right. hear this. He even said that with this message, I carry the fate of Alteria on my shoulders. Don't get excited yet. You know your father tends to make things seem bigger than they really are. Hehe, <laughs> penis. <laughs> oh, crap. Yes. Once, uh, once on the annual king parade, he scolded the guard for destroying the entire tradition of Altaria because he leaned too much to the left. Still, I never heard about him talk. Mm. I never heard him talk about the fate of Altaria. I am leaving the letter on your desk, my prince. I must go now. The royal garden has never been so dirty, and I must clean it before anyone else sees it, or else heads would be flying. My head, of course. Farewell. Why was this message so urgent? I picked it up and started reading. Joe Horace. Horace, my <laughs> fuck. Horace, my it's son, hard to... you almost reached Horace the consists. age of 18. Therefore, I thought it is time for you to take an important role in protecting the kingdom. Are you fucking Kermit? <laughs> In the eastern Kermit market of the capital gone. awaits the guest of honor, the hero of fortune. I need you to escort the hero to the palace. <laughs> <laughs> Do not go formally. The spies of the demon king are everywhere. Go by oh. yourself with a disguise. We don't want to attract any more attention than we need to. The hero of fortune will be easy to spot. He will be wearing a sapphire ring on his left arm. What if it's on his right arm? Now go. We don't have much time to waste. George the Fourth, King of Alteria. <laughs> oh, right. I completely forgot about the operation we started last month. Well, that's completely reasonable, okay? It was a whole month. Man, those flyers were posted... We posted were everywhere. Oh. Even the forest and the shore. Well, maybe that's not so reasonable anymore. There's no chance the Hero of Fortune, whoever he is, missed the flyers. I'm certain he missed the fl the flyers. Absolutely, he missed the flyers. God, how do I load this one? Do I seriously have to go back to the menu every time I want to reload a save? That's so dumb. I just hope he knows where the Eastern Market is. The flyers didn't go to specifics there. How am I? So I am. Oh my god! It's so English. I am supposed to escort the hero. <laughs> Oh well, I'm not complaining. It feels great to finally be entrusted with such an important mission. Thank you, Father. There's no way I will fail you or the kingdom. So oh, I'm certain he fails. Absolutely. I changed clothes as fast as I could and sprinted out of the castle. These are his thoughts, right? Because the green text was the thoughts. Oh! Yeah, I think it is what he's thinking. Okay, I'm in the Eastern Market. Now all I have to do is to find it. <laughs> All I have to do is to find him. I said it correctly. Yeah, I know Phew, you did. It's but... really hot today. I said sigh. Wow. <laughs> it's really... 
it's really annoying to see through that large hood. I should have brought a more comfortable disguise. The mission sounded more exciting on paper. Feels like any other annoying chore. I can't find him anywhere. Remember, Horace, find a man with a sapphire ring. I continued searching around, looking at each and every person's hands. This guy better not be Kira. I was just, I was about to start the My Name is Yoshikaki Kira line. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently I didn't need to worry about it. Unfortunately, the hero of fortune did all the hard work for me. Oh, oh hey everyone, did someone see a sapphire ring? I, I, I kind of lost it. <laughs> Anyone? Fucking idiot. <laughs> it's, it sort of fell on the ground, but I can't find it anywhere. It is a golden ring with a large sapphire on it. I can't save the kingdom if I won't find it. I I don't really know a lot about this city stuff, so if anyone wants to help me, I would really appreciate it. What? <laughs> <laughs> How can you be that stupid to... I knew it was a woman. Oh, fuck. Did I not call it? I don't remember you saying that, but I said it as you were speaking. Lucky. The hero of fortune is a girl. I whispered to her, desperately trying to save the secret part of the secret mission. Are you the hero of fortune? No, that's oh, that's fuck. <laughs> you the hero of fortune. I was so used to see yours the green text. Yes, I am the yeah, great yeah. hero of fortune. I am here to save your capital asses. Weren't you told that the escort duty was supposed to be an undercover operation? Yeah, I vaguely remember something like that. Oh no. I hope her strength is not on the same level as her memory. Are you the one who's supposed to escort me? Yes, it's mi- Great, could you give me a piggyback ride? I always wanted to try it. Are, are you being serious right now? We don't even know what horse looks like. <laughs> Anyways, where's the royal carriage? I expect a grand feast when I get to the palace. Ooh, I heard that the sight of the royal gardens is amazing at night. That must be painful. <laughs> and will I get what? my own butler? I want to make him dance for me and stuff. The s <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, let's, go, let's get to it already. I am pumped up. Can you pull- so your options are, can you please shut up and please, Miss Hero, lower your voice. First one, obviously, it's a tell her to shut the fuck up. <laughs> can you please shut up? <laughs> this is a stealth mission, for God's sake. Why are you screaming? But, but, you're screaming too. Ah, right. Don't be sad. Sorry about the yelling. I am for blame, too. We need to get to the palace. But for now, let's lower our tone a little bit. Did you ever find the ring? I don't think so. Enemy spies are everywhere these days. Although I'm sure they already found us, thanks to you. <laughs> Roger that. And if I will see one of the spies, I'll give them such a beady they will never wear swimsuits ever again. You're still screaming. Are we there yet? Oh no. Please. No, please stop asking so frequently. Are we there yet? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> no, please no small talk until we get to the palace. So what's your name? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? But well, we are going to work together a lot, so let's get to know each other. I don't know who told you that. I am just supposed to escort you to the castle. Nothing more. That's Nozomi. Oh, fuck. Okay. My name is Nozomi. I'm, I'm changing the fucking font. Did you... Well, you know what I just... Fuck you. Ow. Why would anyone write okay. it? There it is. Okay, that, that was a T. Save. I... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Fair enough. Oh, I can't load it from there, which is really stupid. 
Oh, that, that music that's always a, there. Is this a quick? That's a quick save button. Oh, okay. That's useful. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm putting that back. Yeah, look how low the music is. So yeah. Oh why, yeah. Why the fuck does it? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? In the top right tip, press escape to return to the game. Oh, that helps. <laughs> My name is Zoe Tara, hero of fortune. Nice to meet you. Um. Eh. Um. What's your name again? Horus. I am Prince Valteria. Okay. You don't seem very surprised that I am the prince. Prince is like the lion cubs of the humans, right? Outside, there are the heirs to the jungle, but on the inside, they're just like every other friendly animal. That's a weird way to put it. Alright, Prince Horse, are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? It's Horace, not Horse. Really? I thought Horse is a pretty common first name in the capital. Why would you think that? I've seen a lot of people here call each other the full names like Horse Shit or Horse Butt. Those are swear words, not people names. Seriously, how clueless can you be? Alright, I understand the text for the language, <laughs> the fonts. <laughs> Anyways, it's already been half an hour and we're still walking in circles around the market. I don't know this area very well. Oh, fuck. I guess that's what happens when you live your life, most of your life, inside the palace. Do you want me to navigate? But you don't even know this area at all. I still think I would be better than you as a navigator. She might be right. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> She's fucking dead. Out of nowhere, a pass as fast as lightning dug through my face. Wait, who said- Oh, that was- <laughs> That was me. I don't want that noise. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh, who's gonna be her? Oh, that's probably me, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it would be so much easier if we had a third person. It would. Um, you dumb ox! I've been waiting for three hours straight. What? I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I'm not the one you're looking for. But don't go punching people in the street with no damn reason. I will have you arrested. Maybe you don't recognize me, but I am the. You st still have the audacity of arguing with me? And you waste three hours of my precious time by waiting for you. Why did she wait for me? She must be an assassin sent by Will. Father warned me that Will's spies might try and stop me. Crap, if only Nozomi didn't shout so loud. I have to make a run for it. First, I need to push her back to protect Nozomi. She totally predicted my kick. <laughs> oh no, a secondary character is attacking Prince Horse? I must help him. Zomi raised her fists. Come and get it, Smelly Nelly. <laughs> Zomi, she has a sword. Run! Smelly Nelly! You will take back that insult as soon as, soon as your thorax shall feel my wrath. What's the thorax? Is that something in the throat? Yeah, it's like something on an insect. Oh. It's like insect. Huh. Why did it stop? Oh. Uh, I get the feeling that Will's assassins aren't the most professional. The red-haired girl drew her sword and lifted it up in the air. The sun's light washed her sword and ring, and ring in yellow and blue glow. Nozomi, watch out! Wait, ring. Blue glow. I take a second look at the red girl's... red-haired girl's hand. Oh, shit. Hey, stop the battle! There's no stopping it now. This is about my honor. I cannot let this impertinent buffoon off. She's right, Prince Horse. I am a hero. I must defend the innocent. <laughs> Hero or not, hero or not, you cannot defeat the hero of fortune. 
Exactly, no matter who you are, you cannot defeat the Hero of Fortune. I am glad that you have already... What? Acquiesced. Acquiesced Aquis your downfall. I don't know what that's... No, it is you who have already acqui... Oh, she's... Aqu acqui... Uh, accepted your loss. <laughs> no, it is you who... Uh, both of you are the Hero of Fortune. Oh, God damn it! Eh? Nathan, that's both of them. Oh, eh. Eh. <laughs> but this is impossible. But, 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 but. Yeah, this is really weird. We'll find a solution when we arrive at the palace. The solution is simple. She is an imposter. Execute her for trying to import impersonate the hero of fortune. <laughs> eh. No way. Tickle her until she screams for mercy for stealing my spotlight as the hero of fortune. Let's not do anything rash. I am still confused right now. We are still on a supposedly secret duty. Father will find a solution once we arrive. He is very wise and can solve any problem in mere minutes. That's right. I can always count on my father. Uh, oh, hoo, find my me. Smarty people can do miracles like going to the... Uh, never mind. <laughs> God, I, I hate this character so much. I hate all of these characters except for the rabbit. <laughs> Great, one of them agreed. Now all that's left. No way, she is an imposter. Hmm. I know that horse. Believe me. Yep, I already figured out that this girl is really stubborn. How do you know my name? Well, uh. Oh, right, you're a citizen of the capital, so you have to know the name of your prince. Only natural for citizen for a citizen to know the names of the royal family. So I was about to call her by name, then I remembered I didn't ask her for it. What's your name? Huh? What was that? You weren't told the name of the hero of fortune you needed to escort? If I were told the name of the true hero, we wouldn't have this problem. But we already know who the hero, f who is the hero of fortune. It's me. Something tells me that, that it will be a pain in the ass to deal with this girl. Look, you may know that you are the hero of fortune, but I can't know for sure. It's like a defendant who knows if he's guilty or not, but the judge doesn't. Hmm. She is expressing her dissatisfaction very clearly. But at least she understands. Good. Now, let's go. Uh, your name, please. I seriously cannot understand why no one is bothered to find out my name and tell it to you. Are you- are all your servants completely... in a tile? Good enough. In a what? <laughs> I don't know why no one did it. Oh, hold on a minute. You gotta finish reading. Well, <laughs> this is just awful. Oh, no. Where were we? Uh, but if I... But if I were told the hero's name, then we wouldn't have that... Ah, uh, ah, uh, how are you guys totally repeating yourselves? Oh, I know, it's... What the Your fuck did I just say? How are you guys... What the fuck? <laughs> when does this boring conversation end and we start kicking the... And we start kicking Will's butt? An idiot points out that you're acting stupid. That's a good time to stop. That is indeed. Right, I got carried away. Riko Futukami, the hero of fortune at your service. But I am the hero of fortune. 
No, I am Fuck. the hero for it. My turn. There's snacks in the palace. Really? <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Nothing to persuade me. You may be adamant, but you at least don't have the men mentality of a seven-year-old. Although, if you come, I can promise you a chance of being the hero of fortune. Well, I suppose it will suffice. No, I had a feeling there would be somebody else roaming around with those sapphire rings. <laughs> yeah, it was likely. Well, I wouldn't really say that bearing the responsibility of the fate of the entire kingdom is a thing to be persuaded with, but I guess it worked. Pretty weird. Oh, Horus? <laughs> oh no, what have I done? I just get. I'm coming to help. Oh, uh, Horus, we are kind of lost. I'm coming to help. I say that, but I don't know the way back as well. I never thought such thing would happen. Two years of fortune? Is that even possible? Horus. I need you to answer me truthfully. Do you actually know the way? Shut up. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Maybe I could take over. Are you even from the capital? Nope. But at this point, choose our path. The rambling will get us there faster. Much as I don't like to admit it. Come on, horse. Just remember the direction you took to the market in the morning and walk in the opposite direction. Nope. Nothing come up. Nothing comes up. Seems like I will have to swallow my pride and ask a random stranger. Um, excuse me. Oh, nice. The random stranger already came to us. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Small girl approaches us. <laughs> Her hands were sweating from nervousness. Wetting the sapphire ri- Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> You are Prince Horus, right? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bug you. I was told you're going to escort me to the palace, right? This is a nightmare. This is just a really bad nightmare. Are you the hero of fortune? I already know the answer to the question. But for a small chance that she answers no. Yes, I hope we would get along well. Shit. <laughs> Here, this is my ring. Oh, what the fuck? Why do we know their name all of a sudden? Well, it happened Don't worry, I will well. pro I'll protect our kingdom. You can count on me. Saying that with such a shaky voice makes it almost sound ironic. Oh, crap. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, what's your name? We're so professional. Uh, are <laughs> you sure you want to hear it? Yes. What's up with that girl? Okay, but promise you won't laugh. Sure. My name is Haruka Sayonji. Okay, cool. What is there to laugh at? Perfectly normal name. Right, Haruka, we have a kind of a tough situation here. These two other girls, Riko and Nozomi, are claiming to be the hero of fortune as well. <laughs> really? That's great. Great. I was scared before. I thought I'd be fighting Will all by myself. But now there are two other heroes who will fight alongside me. I'm so relieved. I don't think that's how it works. Only one are hero, Fortune. The others are imposters. You think it's possible earlier when they said before the memories erased they split it off to someone? Do you think it split to multiple people? I don't know. Because I have a feeling that's what happened. I want to tell her the truth, but she looks so hopeful and happy, I don't want to break it to her. Play along or you got it wrong. Which one? Just play along with it. Fuck. Oh, <laughs> you actually thought that. That's not playing wrong. That's weird no one told you about that earlier. Okay, I'm gonna save. <laughs> Why are Why you are whispering? You I don't want Rico and Nomi to expose my lie. Am I whispering? <laughs> Didn't notice at all. Anyways, let us proceed to the cast. Oh, fuck. Or who is that? Uh huh. Well. Hello, I am your comrade of fighting Will. Oh, 
no, Harrogate, don't say that. Comrade? Yes, the third hero of fortune. <laughs> she said it. There's no third hero of fortune. There can only be one. <laughs> Told you that lie. Harika raised her finger and slowly pointed it towards me. Horeth? <laughs> should have known this would happen. Liar, liar, death by fire. Holy fuck. <laughs> Sorry, she just looked so innocent that I didn't want to break the truth for her. Horace, please don't lie to me anymore. <laughs> Even if it's a white lie. Okay, I promise. <laughs> that we would ever see each other after we got after we get to the palace. <laughs> oh great. I just finished fixing things with Har Haruka. Now Rico is back to angry mode. Man, I pity the one who will have to deal with these three girls. So, back to the castle? Yes, snacks. And for dessert, a golden fruit. So, we started drooling. Nice. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it, how it tastes like. It will taste like shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was pretty surprised as well. Harka didn't look like the person that can say shit. Why are you looking at me like that? It is known that the goddess created the golden fruit by taking animal feces and mud and shaping it into the shape of an apple. The reason it's called golden fruit is because of the pee. I <laughs> wish I could have gone back in time and block my ears. Well, I ate some good shit. Shit isn't so bad. That's just a figure of speech, right? You wouldn't literally eat shit, right? Did you really eat shit? How did it taste like? Did you get any diseases afterwards? What is it like to eat shit? Harka bursts in excitement at this <laughs> rare opportunity to question someone who ate shit. <laughs> Please don't answer it. One more and I will vomit. He. <laughs> There's only don't. And the starter feels like very dark chocolate, quite bitter with no soup. Rico pinched Nozomi's hand. Ouch. Your words are nauseating me, and I am no stranger to disgusting sights. Stop it right now. Thank you very much, Rico. That's so interesting. What led you to the decision to eat shit? <laughs> I what? <laughs> Rico's hand moved towards the <laughs> sword on her back. <laughs> I will tell you later. And now, snacks. It's amazing how you still have an appetite after that conversation. But first, Haruka, do you know the way back to the castle? Yes. Thank God. Please lead the way. You want me to lead the way? Uh, yeah. Something wrong? No, I'll do my best. Don't worry, I will definitely succeed. What are you getting worked up about? It's navigation, not a suicide mission. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Honestly, what is with those three? One is openly talking about shit without any hint of embarrassment. One is pulling your sword on any mild annoyance that the other one is. Oh, and the other one is. The other one is just plain weird. Alright, let's get this over with. Oh, thank fuck that's over. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed now. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh... 38 minutes of that. Oh. Yeah.